In this problem, we have to find the average rate of change of this function, h of x equals 1 over x, from x1 equals 4 to x2 equals 8. Let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. So the formula that is usually given for the average rate of change is something like this. It's f of x sub 2 minus f of x sub 1 over, and then you just divide by x2 minus x1. Notice the variables match, x2, x2, x1, and x1. So here it's h, uh, it's not actually f. So let's go ahead and translate it to our problem. So this will be h of x2, which in our case is 8, and then minus, and then h of x1, which in our case is 4 over, and then we have x2 minus x1, so that's 8 minus 4. And notice it matches 8, 8, 4, 4, just like in the formula, x2, x2, x1, x1. And actually, it doesn't even matter. Like, you can put the 4 here where the 8 is, and you can put it down here, and then you can put the 8s here. As long as these numbers match, you're good, so everything will work out. Okay, so h of 8 means we have to evaluate h at the value of 8. So basically we just replace the x with 8. So this is 1 over 8, and then minus, and then h of 4 means we plug in 4. So this is 1 over 4. It's all over 8 minus 4, which is just 4. Okay, we do have to do some subtraction here. And the denominators are not the same, right? This is 1 over 8 minus 1 over 4. So what we can do is we can write this 1 over 4 as something over 8. So we're missing a 2 on the bottom. So we can multiply by 2 over 2. We're basically multiplying by 1, right? So we're not really changing anything. So this is equal to 1 over 8 minus, and then 2 times 1 is 2, over, and then 2 times 4 is 8. And this is all being divided by 4. See, we did that, so now we can subtract. Remember, you can subtract fractions whenever the denominators are the same. So now we subtract straight across. 1 minus 2, that's going to give us negative 1 over 8, and that's all being divided by 4. Okay, so we have negative 1 over 8 divided by 4. So when you divide, you really multiply by the reciprocal, right? So this is really negative 1 over 8 times the reciprocal of 4. But 4 is really 4 over 1, so it's times 1 over 4. So this is equal to negative 1 over 32. And so that would be the average rate of change. Let me briefly show you um, what it is, like what it actually is graphically. So here's the y-axis, and here is the x-axis. Okay, so y-axis and x-axis, and then <laughs> Not sure if I said that correctly. Uh, the y is the one that goes up and down. And then here's the graph of 1 over x. Pretty rough picture. It's an orange. And we found the average rate of change from 4 to 8. So let me use a different color here. So say this is 4, and say this is 8. So if you draw a line and you go from here to here, okay, this line that connects these two points is called the secant line. And its slope is the average rate of change. It's negative 1 over 32. So the slope of this line is the average rate of change. It's called uh, the secant line. Kind of a cool, cool little thing. I hope this video has been helpful to you in some way. Good luck.